Not just my hands are cold, my toes are cold. Today's adventure involves a bit of, well, a bit of classic rock, a bit of rock climbing on one of Scotland's most famous mountains, and it's probably one of the best known routes in Scotland as well. So I hope you enjoy the video today, sit back, get a cup of tea, and enjoy the views. I uh, do enjoy a bit of classic rock, classic rock, I like classic rock, <laughs> and what I'm talking about is classic rock, the book, <laughs> it's a book that was brought out, I think the first edition was round about 1978, and it should be in everybody's uh, library, and today's video is about probably one of the, I would say, one of the most famous routes in classic rock. Uh, from Scotland anyway and yeah it's on a mountain that you'll know well if you watch this channel you'll know this mountain very well because I visit it well yeah, visit it all the time it's an iconic mountain it's a mountain that looks good any direction whether you're looking at it from the normal road position up in the air any season if you're in winter spring summer or autumn it's just a fantastic looking mountain and one of the most def defining features on this mountain is where we're going today and it's a feature called the Rannoch Wall and the Rannoch Wall sits to the south, I think it's on the south face of Crowberry Ridge and it's a big massive wall which a lot of people when they're actually going up places like Curved Ridge will probably notice it for the first time uh, it's a big imposing wall and there's lots of climbs, lots of climbs on on Rannoch Wall and the one that we're going to go on to today is probably yeah probably one of the most famous anyway it's back in 2012 so we're going back to the archives and I'm re-editing this one again because it was pulled off YouTube uh, <laughs> for reasons probably copyright reasons for the music that was on it at the time uh, it was oh, 2012 so the March had been well, fantastically warm. I think the temperatures had got up to 18, 19, 20 degrees in the Highlands of Scotland. And the week before, I'd been up in the Northwest Highlands, and I think it was a Corbett, uh, Bene Castile, I think I went up, uh, did a bike and hike. But it was anyway, it was, it was super warm, blue skies. So the following week, I think it was the 1st of April, we decided to go and give this route a uh, uh, yeah, give it a go because the weather had been so good but sod's law, it, uh, the weather didn't hold and it was cold but I'll come on to that in a wee bit so this is a route called Agag's Groove Agag's Groove <laughs> and it's described in Classic Rock, this great book and they actually do two routes when they're describing it they, they go up something called North Face Route now I've actually done North Face Route well, when I say I've done it, I was dragged up it by Mark and Jerry, as always, as I was dragged up. <laughs> when I say dragged up, I mean, I was there, I was excited to be there, but I was seconding and I was getting uh, pulled up by the lead, which these guys were on North Face Route. It's the same, Jerry, Jerry took me up by uh, Agags, he led all the, all the routes. This is going back to my early climbing days, I think Agags was possibly one of my first... First routes. Anyway, so they go up the North Face route, which I've done before, and that was a fantastic day. Uh, I'll put the link to that video here. What a, an amazing route that is. But in this video, we're just concentrating on A Guy's Groove, which they talk about in Classic Rock uh, after they've done North Face route. So let's cut to me uh, going in and walking up towards the mighty Aranich Wall, and we'll start. Yeah, we'll start on pitch one, and we'll report back once that pitch is finished. Let's go and have a look at it. So we walked in and as we passed the water slab stone we headed right up towards the 
granite wall and you can see it in the picture there. And this snow in the Crowberry Basin shows you that we're just out of March, albeit it had been quite a mild March. And we soon have found ourselves at the start of pitch one of A Guy's Groove. <laughs> Agag's Groove is just over 100 metres in length and comes in at V-diff and there's four different pitches. The first pitch here, which you can see Jerry going up, is about 30 metres and it starts off pretty steeply but there's pretty good holds and good protection all the way up to the first belay. Yeah, so there we are. We went up the first pitch. Uh, there's a bit quite shaky head footage there, but uh, it's when GoPros just came out, and it's quite hard to film proper climbing routes and make vlogs up. Anyway, the, the defining memory I have from finishing the first pitch <laughs> was Jerry telling me to watch my feet when I got up there because, yeah, let's just say somebody that had been up there before us had left us a present, not a very nice present, uh, something long and brown. <laughs> so we had to be, yeah carefully coiling the rope and watching where we put our feet in this wee billy ledge. So that was my defining memory from pitch one. So let's get cracked on and head up pitch two. The views are just stunning all the way up this route and pitch two isn't, uh, well, isn't too difficult to be honest with you. So once again Jerry led is, and I was billying, just, yeah, just sat on a rock watching my feet, <laughs> not wanting to uh, stand on anything and watching Jerry make easy progress up to the to the second belay and it was soon my turn to head up and it was a yeah, nice easy pitch, good fun although the rock was, well, freezing would be an understatement Yeah, so pitch two yeah, I, from, my, from my memory it didn't pose too many difficulties and there's a big massive ledge uh, for belaying on at the end of pitch 2 and it's the next pitch where the crux is and I will report back <laughs> after this pitch and let you know what I remember from that. So Jerry led off for pitch 3 and this is the hardest pitch of, from memory anyway and it's just a fantastic location and you move along a, a crack onto a, a kind of exposed nose where the crux move is and at this point Jerry was, uh, well, let's, let's say I wasn't helping him too much but more of that in a wee while but you can see from this the, the views back down towards Curved Ridge and over Rannick Moor we are just fabulous, just what a pitch the whole route's fantastic Anyway, Jerry made it up safely and I was soon on my way, struggling up pitch three and being helped along by the rope ahead of me and Jerry bellowing from the from the third belay spot. It was fantastic. And I just about arrived and I was just a delicate move to get round and up to the belay beside Jerry, ready for the last and final pitch. Yeah, so on to uh, pitch three, and there's a big, massive uh, billy ledge uh, at the end of pitch two, going on to pitch three. And pitch three, if I remember correctly, was the crux, and it's quite an exposed, wonderfully exposed, exposed pitch. And my memory of this, apart from my hand, as I mentioned, my hand's been very cold, um, was when, I mean, this was probably one... I don't know, probably, possibly the second time I'd been rock climbing actually on the mountain, I'd been to, to the crag lots of times. And as I was belaying Jerry and he was just getting onto the exposed crux section, the rope snagged on a rock just below me. Oh my god, and I remember Jerry just trying to get up and I couldn't release the rope and I had to go down and untangle it and uh, well, whilst keeping him safe on the rope. And that was my the defining memory of that point, thinking, <laughs> thinking this, this rope that had been caught in a small boulder at my feet. It wasn't the turd, by the way, which had caught it. It was a, <laughs> it was a, it was a small boulder. Although the, uh, the the human present could have you know, could have been uh, quite an, an appropriate and <laughs> safe anchor. It was that big. Anyway, enough about that. So that was pitch uh, pitch three, and then Jerry brought me up. Fantastic. 
And uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm going to pitch four. Pitch four was just fantastic as well. It's uh, nothing too difficult, and you just finish abruptly um, at the end. So fantastic stuff. Let's go button up. At this point, I was contemplating whether my fingers were actually going to drop off with the cold. I don't think I could feel <laughs> my pinky through to my middle finger. It was that cold. You can see here I've got my wee, my wee gloves on for billying. It was uh, it was really really cold, and uh, I wasn't exaggerating there when I couldn't feel <laughs> couldn't feel my hand, which isn't great when you're rock climbing. Anyway, a fantastic last pitch again, and Jerry led it up to the top, and you you kind of just go up this more directly up the face at this point uh, before topping out on the top of Crowberry. Crowberry Ridge with those views down over Rannick Moor and beyond to the southern highlands of Scotland. It really is just fantastic. It's a great way to uh, to finish the route. Still not a place right. to slip. And by this point most of the real difficulties are behind you and you can yeah, enjoy your position starting to get towards the top of the route. Absolutely brilliant. What a fun climb this had been. Hang on. I've got to do the celebrity. <sighs> Here we go, so. And my wee celebration at the top of the route there, I uh, felt quite glad that I'd got there. It was blooming cold though, it was, it was freezing. And we still had to get back down, we'd left our bags at the start of the route, so we traversed round uh, and up Crowberry Ridge. And just along a wee, a wee skittery ledge with loose rocks on it to take us to the top of Curved Ridge. And then we just, uh, we, we stayed uh, roped up and down climbed uh, Curved Ridge back to get our bags. Uh, it was fantastic, it was really good fun, and uh, there was a few other climbers approaching the crag at that point, so yeah, what a fantastic day. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this, this reminiscing on the rock climbing, and you know, thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll be back on Sunday with another vlog, and then next Wednesday with another vlog from the past, so stay safe, and I'll see you soon.